I'm going to do now is show you how to put a basher up without using any trees, any poles, any fences, no dips in the ground, no fallen big logs, and nothing. So you must be thinking, how the hell can you put up a basher without anything to prop it up? Well, the key feature is you need a double hooped bivy bag. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's set up and uh, the benefits of it as well. Okay, let's go and have a look. Right, that's the bivy bag set up. What I'm going to do now is get the basher out and I'm going to drape it over the, the bivy bag and I'm going to pin it close to the bivy bag here and then it's going to go over the top and it's going to stick out this end and I'm going to pin it down on the corners there. And what, I, what you could do then is you could put your equipment underneath the basher out of the way of the rain and the wind and the sun as well so let's do that That's what it looks like and I've only I've only pinned it out on the corners now if you're in high winds you could pin it out on other anchor points as well and also on this side where it's raised if you've got a bit of paracord and then other tent pegs you could pin it out like that as well and make it nice and strong because it is a bit of a, a sail in a way and you don't want it uh, blowing away and also there's another three anchor points going along there just to make it stronger and there you go and also you can make a little gap here if you want for your cooker and a bit of food for the morning just to keep it separate so you're not rummaging about and messing around and uh, the, the, the bivy bag is made by this company Terra Nova uh, really good gear actually uh, This setup is also May it could also be used for two people one person could stay in there and Another person could stay under there with their own little bivy bag It doesn't have to be a hooped bivy bag just an ordinary bivy with a sleeping bag Lying on the highest point of the basher there parallel with this and also you can put the rucksacks along there to help keep this up a bit so there you go that's how you put up a basher without using any poles trees falling down trees 
uh, dips in the ground and all the rest of it. <laughs> now, this setup is also ideal for long distance hiking. Uh, so what happens is uh, a lot of people, including myself, we go out for one night, we, we sleep out in whatever we've got and we head for the woods, you know, if I've got a basher, I'll head for the woods, you know. But if you're doing long distance, you can't always rely on the fact that you're coming across any woods or fences or dips in the ground or whatever, you know. So this, I, this setup is ideal for long distance hiking. Uh, it's the same with long distance cyclists. What they do at the end of the day, they get their bike and they turn it upside down and put the basher over that. In principle, it's just the same, except you're using a double hoop bivy bag. So there you go, it's good for long distance as well, which is pretty good. So there you go. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say, except thanks for watching and uh, like, share, subscribe if you want and uh, have a good life. Cheers.